All right, guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're taking a look at another option weapon here from Kotobukiya, but this time it's not from their MSG line. It's from their armored core set of weapons here, the Variable Infinity Weapon Unit 016. So weapon 16 is this really cool looking rifle. It's the HLR-01 Canopus. I don't know, it looks really cool and really looks like something that would go really nicely with an Evangelion kit, which is probably what I'm hoping to be able to use this with, but I'm not sure because it's a really odd looking size. It definitely looks way too big for like your standard 144 scale gunpla kits, it looks quite big, so I'm just looking forward to seeing how this is going to look, compare with some different stuff so I can get a better sense of the size of this, because it's a cool design, I just don't know what kit I'll really be able to use it with, so let's go ahead and crack it open. So here on the back you can see, let's see, the price tag for this, 800 yen, so not too bad considering, like I said, it's a pretty big size weapon we got here. Obviously, as you guys are probably well aware, anything from Kotobuki is going to run a little bit more expensive compared to what we might be used to from something, like if this was made by Bandai, it'd probably be closer to 600 yen slightly cheaper. As you can see, we've got uh, three little runners here, so it looks like uh, they're not individually labeled like A, B, C or anything like that, but here's the first runner. You can see the main part of the rifle and some detailed parts, the other main half of the gun and some other smaller parts, and then our other sort of like lower parts on that. And I don't really know what to call anything on this because it's such an odd looking weapon, but on the inside of here, we've got our instructions for that, so pretty simple. It doesn't have a ton of parts there, obviously. So let's put that together, it shouldn't really take too long. Let me go ahead and do that and then we'll see how it looks. Okay, here it is all built up and looks really cool. I mean, like I said, the detail and the design of it is really quite interesting. These bits here don't move. I was kind of expecting those to move, but everything's just all fixed. So nothing moves, no option parts or anything like that. This is it. Now there are seam lines on this here and here and on like the main body of the gun. You got some seam lines there as well too. So it's going to take some work to get it really looking its best, but there's a lot of potential there. Definitely it's quite large as well too, as you can see and all in this sort of uh, dark gunmetal kind of color, but let's go ahead and then try it out on some different kits here so we can get a sense of the scale of it. Now, the handle is a little bit too large to fit into the hand of your average 144 scale Gundam here with the very little bit of sanding on that, it would fit in there, so it would be easy enough to modify. That said, the scale, uh, maybe not exactly the best match. As you can see, it's quite large. It's about as big as the Gundam itself, so unless you mean you're going for something really like a super mega rifle, which it could be kind of cool, something like, like the uh, mega launcher that the Hyakushiki uses, something like that with 144 scale. This could work. I mean, yeah, it's very too big for like just a standard rifle but for like a big like massive cannon it could definitely work so that's kind of interesting uh, but let's go ahead and try it with something more a larger now once again with this one we have the case where the handle was too big for a 144 scale hand and too small for a 100 scale hand here with the master grade gym sniper but definitely the size is going to be a better fit it's still going to be a pretty awkward weapon i think to put with most gundam kits just because of the design of it like i said it really reminds me of something more from Evangelion. So we will take a look at some Evangelion kits here in just a minute, but the design of it not really going to mesh well, I think, with most Gundam stuff. I think you'd have to try hard to find something that would go really well with this. I don't know, maybe something like the O or like something Zeta or Double Zeta era, like Titans mobile suit or something might use something like this, I suppose. But obviously, of course, you could use it with Armored Core as well too, but I don't have a built Armored Core hit kit here on hand to show this to you guys with, so we'll just move on. But as for frame arms here, most frame arms kits are going to be sort of similar to your average 100 scale Gundam kits, a little bit smaller. Uh, so you're gonna have basically the same kind of issue where the size is kind of a little bit of a better fit, but again, the style, maybe not really the best match, especially with the stylet here, it's definitely the massive cannons looking a little bit too large for him there, but it is, you know, at least it matches the gunmetal of his hands. So this would be the LMHG kit, which is much larger than the real grades. The real grades, you know, are fantastic, but they're definitely gonna be way too small for this big massive gun. Again, unless you wanted to use it like some sort of like a big massive like positron cannon like the uh, AV unit one used. I guess you could do something like that, something along those lines. Uh, but with this kit, the problem is not so much the match because I think the, the overall design and the size of the weapon match pretty well with this kit. The problem is just with the kit itself. The hands are kind of weak, the wrists and the elbows don't really bend enough to really do very good posing with this, unfortunately. So you'd have to do a little bit of modification in order to get it to in a like, proper pose. But I do think that the style matches pretty well with this particular kit. So I don't know, you'll have to try to make it work. So that's basically gonna be it here for the Canopus rifle here. It's a really cool, unique design for a weapon. Uh, so I think that's gonna make it a little bit hard to maybe use this with much other than uh, armored core kits, but you know, if you're creative, you can find something cool, to, so you can find a cool way to use this. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you're interested in a weapon like this or maybe this particular one you've been eyeing for a while. 
uh, like me, you were interested in it, but you weren't really sure what to do with it or how big exactly it would be. Hopefully this video helped you guys out to get a better sense of the size of this weapon and how it'll work with a few different kits. So if you have any other further questions, of course, do feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to USA Gundam Store for making it all possible. Guys, check the link to USA Gundam Store in the video description and use my coupon code there, Zachorelius10, to save 10% off everything on the site as well too. And until next time, guys, hope you're all having a great day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.